Our Bible study is titled The Secret of God. Our matrix is Psalm 25. We read verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his governor. Says that God has secret. This secret is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. To those who fear the Lord, God will show them his covenant or his secret. So he said his secret of God is with those who fear him. And that is the truth. Now, the apostle wrote for us in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Says that God has secret. This secret, eyes have not seen it, ears has not heard of it, neither has entered into the heart of Man, the things which God has prepared, said that this secret is with God. God is keeping this secret. But it tells us in verse 10, but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. So this close guided secret of God, that God has revealed them to us because he's prepared for them that love him and how did he do it by his spirit for the spirit such and all things yes the deep things of god for who knows anything in the man's heart except his spirit and neither would anyone know what is in the mind of god except his spirit Say, but he has revealed this amazing secret he has kept for those who fear him unto us, said the Apostle Paul. They have revealed them to us. So we are blessed. Hallelujah. We are blessed in this ministry because God has revealed this secret to us. Now, he revealed, he spoke to his servants, the prophets of old. Let's look at one of the prophets, Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26 and 27. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and give you an heart of flesh, and I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you shall keep my judgments and do them. Amen. What a wonderful promise of God. He says that he's going to put his spirit in us. And then through the Spirit, we will not be walking in His Word. And so this is the secret of God. He said the Word of God is a secret. For one to discover this secret, he needs the Spirit of the Word of God. 
the spirit that gave us the scripture says, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my words and to keep them and do them. This is what is prepared, which he says, I have not seen it, ears have not heard of it, neither has entered into the hands of a man, of humans. So that is guided secret is the with the spirit of God. That it is the spirit of God that knows the mind of God. As a human spirit knows the mind of a human. So it is with God. And so God says we need his spirit, and his spirit now will reveal the secret of God to us. And say so when he now reveal the secret to us, then we will keep his covenant. We will not discover that the word of God is a secret. It's with them that fear. You know, when you fear God, you keep his word. That's the beginning of it. And then he said, this God that promised even that commanded, says, I am going to dwell in you. That means he said, those who fear him, he's with them. This secret is with them. What secret? His spirit. And so through the spirit, they will be understanding. Now Jesus said this in Luke chapter 10, verse 22 to 24. All things are delivered to me of my father. And no man knoweth who the son is but the father. And who the father is but the son. And he to whom the son will reveal him. What a close guided secret. Says no one knows the Son of God except the Father. That is, the Spirit of the Son of God alone knows the Son of God. And he says it's only the Son that knows the Father and to whom he will reveal him. Now in verse 23, and he turned unto his disciples and said privately. Blessed are the eyes which see these things that you see. These things which eyes have not seen. These things which ears have not heard, neither has entered into the hands of humans. Say, blessed are your eyes. You are blessed this day. The reason is because God says you are blessed if you see these things. Amen. He said, those who see these things, they are blessed. Amen. What things see these things that he wants us to walk in? He said, those who see him, who see the real Christ, he said, they are blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why we are blessed in Bible revelation ministry. Look at verse 24. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which you see. And have not seen them, and to hear those things which you hear, and have not heard them. Who is he talking to? His disciples. That's why he says, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. Who said so? The Holy Spirit of the Bible. He says, if you come to discover, as you have done, he told the disciples that it is me, you are to follow, that you are to follow the word of God. Says you are blessed. Many don't know that it is Him that God is keeping as a secret. That Christ is His covenant, even His word, which He made with Abraham, and an oath to Isaac, and a law to Jacob, and everlasting covenant in Israel. Which covenant he says, I will show them who fear him. He said, Many kings, many prophets have desired to see those things which we see. What things? His word. The bless are your eyes. For those who see the word of God, I come to discover that the word of God is whom the Spirit is speaking of, which he said, I will give you my spirit. Then you begin to walk in my word. You will not walk in the dead flesh, 
you'll be moving in him you'll be walking surely Amen. oh you are blessed Amen. and that's why it says that those who dwell in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty what a blessing he said many prophets and kings desire to see the things you are seeing does he see you are blessed you are coming to this secret of god he said he only bring those who love him into this secret into this covenant into this amazing secret of god that's why he's calling us to himself to listen to him and to his testimony hear more what he said in john chapter 14 verse 15 to 17 if you love me keep my commandment that is an eternal statement verse 16 and i will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever says that no one knows this father except his son says if you love me keep my commandment that is we should keep what he said what does he want us to keep he said we should keep his word that if we pray if we, if we keep his word then the word will come he would reveal he will give us the access to the father even to the spirit of the son of god the spirit of the holy word the holy scriptures verse 6 17 even the spirit of truth the bible is the truth he is the way he is the life Amen. say even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because he has not entered their hands their ears have not heard it neither had the eyes seen that it is the scriptures in the holy bible that the spirit is speaking of is that even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not neither knoweth him but you know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you let this word enter you is a secret and this secret is what he said we should receive and he said once you have this secret of god is yours forever because he's guided secret and for god to reveal this secret he says for those who fear him that's why after the gospel is preached as we are hearing now preaching the bible and he said love him and with all of your heart, with all your soul, he said, those who do so, then the Spirit will love them. Amen. And so the Spirit that loved them knows everything. And what was not known, what many have not seen, no head, neither has entered into their heart, he said, you will know them. You, he will reveal them to you. And then the covenant will be with you Amen. forever. Everlasting covenant. Blessed, inheritance secure. He said, This inheritance is yours forever. Do you know that one may gain the whole world? Jesus says, What shall he profit a man? He gains the whole world and suffer the loss of his soul. He said, We're taking away one day. But this one, he said, Will not be taken away. This is that inheritance secured in the heavens is a secret. He said, we can genuinely inherit this secret of God. This is why God is so rich. This is why God is God. So this is his secret. That his word is the secret. He went further in John 15, verse 26 and 27. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. 
My God. He says, when the comforter is come, even the spirit of the word of God, he will testify of the word of God. Now, he said, what others don't know, you will know them. Amen. One great man and great prophet don't know, you will know them. Don't you see you are blessed? That's why he says, of all men born of a woman, the greatest is John the Baptist, but the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. They come to discover that Jesus is the word of God, the one whom God sent, say that person is blessed. You have moved from the dead flesh, you have moved from human to the spirit. That's why I say he does not enter the heart of a human being. But the spirit brings the knowledge. That's why he told the disciples, he said, wait. You can't go about preaching, you can't do anything, just wait. Wait in Jerusalem until the promise of the Father come upon you. When the promise comes, you will receive power, then you become witnesses unto me. Say, you shall testify of me by what means? By the Spirit. Say, this Spirit will testify of me, and you will know. And verse 27, and you also shall bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. You will discover what I have been saying to you concerning the word is true. That the word of God is spirit. He said, when the spirit come upon you, you will soon discover that the word of God, the Holy Scripture, is not ordinary, as it did in the Pentecost days. And when he came, Peter preaching says, this is what it was written of by Prophet Joy, that I would pour my spirit upon all flesh. He said, you will come to discover the truth of the Holy Bible, that the Holy Bible has spirit. The spirit of the Holy Scriptures. He said, the spirit of the Holy Scripture will come upon you, will be testified. He said, you yourself will be a witness that the book is not ordinary, that God is a spirit. He gave birth to all scriptures. Now he said, this spirit can enter you, and then you'll be talking as God. As he is, you will be so, he said, you will also be a witness. This one Holy Spirit will come upon you, even the spirit of the Bible, he said, all of you will become witnesses unto me. What a blessing. What a guided secret. He said, this spirit is going to give me after we repent and turn to the word. He said, after we believe, then we are sealed with this Holy Spirit of promise. That God who made the promise said, this is what we need to do. That if you love me, keep my word. Keep the scriptures. Believe in the scripture. Continue in him. Amen. Then you will soon find out what he said. It is so, as the scripture has said. That anyone that believes on him, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. He was speaking of his spirit. That don't believe every spirit. Every spirit is not of God. The spirit of the Holy Scripture is of God. That's why I say he will testify of me. He will be talking me always. You see, do we have proof? Yes, we do. See, one of his apostles, Apostle Paul, listen to what he says in Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 3 to 5. How that by revelation, he made known unto me the mystery as I fall, as I wrote a fall in few words. He said, God made him know by revelation the mystery or the secret of God. Verse 4, whereby when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. You come to discover my knowledge in the mystery of the Holy Bible. You come to discover that I did not get it from flesh and blood. The flesh and blood has not revealed Christ to me, St. Paul says. But the spirit of the Holy Bible revealed the word unto me that I should preach this unsearchable riches of Christ. He says, this mystery of Christ was not known, verse 5, 
which is in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit say so this mystery of the bible was kept secret by who by the holy spirit it says that many great men many prophets jesus says did not know this daniel wanted to know it he didn't know he said many prophets inquired but they were testifying of the scripture through the spirit of the scriptures Amen. but they didn't know that he is that mystery that hidden mystery of god is the bible hidden in the mind of the holy ghost he said how can you know what is in the human mind except his spirit Neither can we know what is in the mind of God except his spirit. He said, to whom he will reveal them, reveal him to them. How can that be? He said, by the spirit, as he promised, I will give you my spirit. Amen. And this spirit will reveal me to you, for no one knows whom the Son of God is except the Holy Spirit. So St. Paul says, this mystery hidden in all ages, is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by his spirit, as he said. He said, it's not for you to know the times and the season which the God of the Bible has reserved in himself in his spirit, for you shall receive power. After the Holy Spirit of the Bible come upon you, then you shall become witnesses unto me. He told the disciples, and so it is today. There is spirit of the Holy Bible. Then the spirit of the Holy Bible is only him that can reveal the word to us. Otherwise, we'll be groping. He said that he is that portal that can bring us home into this house, into this amazing secret of God. He's the only one that can bring us into the secret place of God. And then you, he will show you his covenant. He said, I have many things to tell you to the disciples. He said, you cannot understand it now. You are not mindful of the word. But when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into the truth. He will not speak of himself. He will speak of me. He will preach the word to you. Then you also will be witnesses unto me. Okay. Are you hearing? This is the secret which he says, with the heart man being unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Don't doubt it. It's not claiming. It's spirit. We must receive this spirit. Jesus says, no one can know him. He told Peter, he said, flesh and blood has not revealed me to you. He's talking of the spirit, my father, which is in heaven. The spirit says he will want to enter us. He said, I will give you my spirit. And then when my spirit enter you, you'll be walking in my word. Amen. You'll be walking surely in my son, walking in victory, walking in power, walking in favor. Amen. The favor of God will come upon you because we're not in this secret place of the most high. It's anyone that wants to harm you will harm himself. Amen. He said, all oh, the weapons form against you now will walk. The arrow will fly in the daytime, it will not come near you in the night. You have nothing to do with it. Amen. Only with your eyes, you will see the reward of the wicked. That that secret is Christ in, the, in you, the hope of glory. Don't doubt, it's not religion. What you are hearing in this ministry is true. We preach the Bible, not as dead letters, no. As the living, St. Paul says that this mystery, which he was he, this stone, this builder disallowed, is a mystery. This word God brought me in. St. Paul says, I was a persecutor of those who were preaching the Bible until he met me. And then he revealed his son to me and said, I am going to make you a testifier of me Amen. to the Gentiles. He says, So that you will understand my knowledge in the mystery of the word of god that i didn't learn it from human being i got the full revelation of the holy bible saint paul is saying through the spirit so you must receive the spirit of the scriptures 
That's why we preach him. Don't just read the Bible. You need the spirit of the scriptures. Without the spirit of the scriptures, we'll be outside. We are all to be baptized into this book through the spirit of the Bible. Is that through this one spirit we have access to this household of God, to this wonderful family of God, which is both in heaven and on earth. You now become a citizen, not a stranger anymore, through his spirit. And so he's saying that when we receive the spirit, how do we receive the spirit after we believe the gospel of our salvation? After we believe that the Bible was a secret guided in all generations. And then he unveiled him. That's why he says, without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. That God was manifest in the flesh. Which God, the word of God, came as a human, preached unto the Gentiles, received into glory. He says that he was witnessed by angels. You know, when he was born on earth, became human, the angels were singing, Hosanna in the highest. You see, he is that one in the highest, whom the angels give glory to. And they glorify him. Satan and the demons were cast out of heaven. It says, Satan being known that there is a secret. The secret is with them that fear him. Satan didn't fear him. The Lord, neither do the demons fear him. So they were cast out. But the holy angels fear the world. Because they fear the world, then the secret was given to them. Amen. Say so they overcame the dragon by the power of Christ. Yes. Who is that power? The spirit of Christ. He said, when the Holy Spirit of the Bible comes upon you, you will receive power. Oh, yes, we have power. Jesus says, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions and over the power of the enemy. Come to this ministry and receive power. We have power. And so what power? The power to testify. We're not talking of dead flesh. We're preaching the word of God. St. Paul says that God is through revelation. That's why we have Bible revelation ministry. And God is calling you, calling me. Please come. Amen. Listen to what you are saying and what you are hearing. It came from the Holy Spirit. Read the book. Look at it and you will understand that it is God that made us to see this. There are many great men. You know, there are so many great men in the world. Jesus said they have not seen this. Even kings have not seen it. He said, but your eyes are blessed. Who was he speaking to? His disciples. How do you become his disciples today? You become disciples of the scriptures. The spirit will bring you into the secret. He will show you his covenant. He will. He promised he will never fail. Hallelujah. He has promised he will never fail. I will follow him. I will follow him. He has promised he will never fail. His faithfulness is forevermore. His faithfulness is forevermore. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything he has said, they are true. Read the Bible. Everything the scripture says comes to pass. Everything. So you need to know him and believe on him. And so we're going to pray unto the spirit of the scripture. So he commanded us. He said we should pray to the Father in his name. And then he will answer us. So we don't pray to another. The spirit of the scripture is the spirit of Christ. It's even the spirit of the Holy Bible. Who does what he wants us to believe? His word. Whom did he command we should keep his word? And then he says, if we abide in him, he abides in us. When we pray, he will answer us. Amen. So you're going to pray now. The first prayer is, so oh Lord, bring me into your secret. Amen. If you answer. Amen. Oh God, show me your covenant Amen. so that I will keep it as a everlasting covenant, unremovable. I will have it forever. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. Father, God, 
Almighty Savior, eternal spirit, the spirit of the world. Oh goodness, Lord, fill us with your spirit. We all will become prophets. In the name of Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 We thank God for that moment of hearing His word. We heard the message tonight titled "The Secret of God." So, as we have heard that uh, this secret belong to them that fear him. So the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. So we have to come to him. And uh, as we come, he will reveal himself to us. So because if we don't come, we cannot know, you know, the secret of God. So that's what God is calling us tonight, that uh, he is the one that uh, reveals everything is in him. But we have to come and believe in this secret, then the revelation will come. So let's begin to pray and thank God that that which we have heard tonight, we will keep on coming. Where is he wanting us to come? He wants us to come to the Holy Scriptures, you know, to come hearing it as we have just heard now. Come, go and read it like the Berea did. And then the secret will come. He will open our mind. You know, to see him. That is the secret. It's not going to come from anywhere else. So let's pray. Let's thank God that uh, this secret that belongs to God, God will surely reveal it to all of us in Jesus' name. Almighty Father, help me tell us. Thank you. 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 Thank you.